The action, our opening contest continues tonight on Rampage. Rocky Romero, Asukar taking on Mistico, perhaps the most famous luchador ever produced by Mexico. Mistico in the lead, one fall to none. This is a best two out of three falls encounter as Rocky Romero, looking for those forever clotheslines, takes Mistico off of his feet. And the tearing of the mask of Mistico, you know, we, we have mentioned this before, how much that is a sign of disrespect to your opponent in Lucha Libre wrestling. Well, I mean, the mask is so important because it harkens back to the, really, the indigenous people of Mexico. It references the history, the culture of Mexico. It's, it's more than, than just a face covering. Sure. It's something that transcends that. And so to tear someone's mask, in a match, it's, it's the ultimate sign of disrespect in Lucha Libre. And as we mentioned before, Rocky has done it before to Mistico. There's nothing new, and Mistico, look at this! Mistico finds his footing. Rocky Romero swinging a miss. And Tierras takes down Romero. That was a smooth Tierras. Rocky Romero, he won that CMLL World Historic Welterweight Championship earlier this year in one of his many classic battles with Volador Jr. Now, Intensifying this rivalry with Mystico here tonight on Rampage. Mystico takes Rocky to the outside, and now Rocky, oh, Rocky ducked down. Yeah, good job putting the brakes on. A lot of times you get that momentum going, you can't stop. Now Rocky, he can't afford to take his concentration off Mystico. Yeah, one more fall and he's done. Oh, kick to the jaw. As Romero is entering the ring, I think Rocky was trying to look over his shoulder at that fan that was mouthing off to him. But now elbows exchanged on the apron. Very dangerous position for both men. Oh! Mistico eats the knee from Rocky Romero. This has been much more physical than I anticipated. Excalibur. Oh! oh Lordy. Snap! Suplex on the apron. I think it's because the personal history between these two men. It's yeah, the animosity between Rocky Romero, Mistico, as Rocky comes flying in, the Tope Suicida. You see the, the physical toll evident just by the body language of both competitors, yeah, Tony. Absolutely. But as Mistico is still down, it took everything Rocky had to pull up the one knee. Noriega is telling them both to get back into the ring. Rocky cannot afford a count out here, and he loses the match. Rocky still needs to overcome that one fall deficit. He has a hope of having a chance in this match. Here's Rain as historic welterweight champion, 273 days. And Rocky. That's, that's an impressive reign, Tony. Yes, but it is. 1,887 days, man. Almost 2,000, you're right. As Rocky Romero, superplex, brings me to go in the hard way. Rocky, the cover, the lateral press. Noriega, Edgar Noriega, there's only a two count. You would think over 1,800 wins and days as champion that he would slip up once in a while, but that's the height of consistency. Yeah, Mystico is just such an impressive competitor. Very lucky to have him compete, to have this match from CMLL as part of Rampage tonight. We still have so much more action to come. Claudio Castagnoli, Wheeler, Yuta, they will challenge for the AW World Tag Team Championship tomorrow night at Collision, but they will be in action later on tonight. Ruby Soho, Sky Blue is Rocky Romero locking in the camel clutch, stretching back on the neck of Mystico. It's close. Mystico trying to break the grip of Rocky Romero. Freeze himself, a Rocky just a vicious stop to the back of the head. Ruby Soho, Sky Blue, one on one, still to come tonight on Rampage. As Rocky Romero no. over the top, the slice bread covers two and three. The winner of the second fall, Rocky Romero. One fall apiece. This match essentially sudden death, Tony. The winner of the next pinfall or submission is the winner. Well, fans. The third and decisive fall coming up next on Rampage. Welcome back to Rampage on TNT. Mystico Rocky Romero. The battle between two champions in CMLL comes to All Elite Wrestling. Mystico 
Has Rocky Romero on the outside, and now Mystico, perhaps not in the ring for a very long, over the post, crashing onto Rocky on the floor. Really the first time he's done it all, all night, Excalibur was able to take flight. But Rocky had grounded him quite well. Let's take a look one more time at Mystico from this angle, taking flight, boy, and he connected with the head of Rocky. And now Mystico with the far leg, hooked and whoa! Very nearly, Rocky Romero. Got another cadence of the referee, and that was a very fast cadence that time by Noriega. Yeah, faster than we are accustomed to, yeah. most certainly, but Rocky Romero able to beat the count. This match continues even at one fall apiece. Rocky Romero making things level set, but wow. Mystico takes flight once again. Two and no. Talking about hang time, holy smokes. Did he get up in the air? And that's where Mystico is going to have the advantage on Rocky Romero. Let's take another look at this, Tony. You mentioned the hang time. Incredible. Incredible Mystico getting the near fall, but Rocky still in this. Scoop and the slam. Mystico perhaps looking to take flight once again. Yeah, he's been using the ropes a lot more in this third fall. No doubt about it. Let's see what he can do here. As Mystico gets his footing. And the moon saw by Rock Romero anticipated it. The boots up into the face. But no, oh, power slam by Mystico. One, two, and no. Rocky Romero, great counter, great anticipation, Tony. As you can see, the fans are into this one, buddy. And so are we. We are being thoroughly entertained by this pound-for-pound crown match. As Rocky charging in, but oh, Mystico slips behind, sends Rocky up to the top rope. And now Mystico. Steps up, looking for the Avalanche German suplex. Rocky struggling mightily against it. And now Rocky Romero. He's got Mystico all hooked up. Avalanche slice bread by Rocky Romero. He's going to take it here. That's how he wins the first one. One, two, and now Mystico. Mystico somehow able to kick out Rocky Romero. The frustration evident. Wow, what a match. Avalanche sliced bread. The impact all coming down the back of the head, the neck of Mystico. Just barely beating a three count. Rocky, he feels like he's got this match well in hand. It's the beginning of just a big weekend here on TNT of AEW Wrestling with that doubleheader tomorrow night. That's right, we'll be at the FedEx Forum in Memphis, Tennessee for Collision and Battle of the Belts 8, but right now, Mystico. Oh, man, just so agile, great balance. Up to the top, and he's the Spanish fly! Oh, Rocky hit hard. See Rocky clutching his lower back, clutching his tailbone, he came down like a ton of bricks, courtesy of the middleweight champion, and now, the cover, two, and now Rocky able to kick out. Took him a little too long to get there. Mystico, you can see stealing himself. He feels like the end is near, but Rocky, he's proven to be a very resilient opponent. What amazes me a lot of times at Scalvard, you wear a mask, you know, with a mask covering the face. Late in a match, you're trying to breathe. It's gotta be difficult, man. Yeah, certainly mm. when it covers the mound, but Mystico, I mean, he's so used to competing at altitude in Mexico City. Yeah, that's a good point. Great point, actually. And so he does have tremendous cardiovascular reserves. As he's that's Rocky with the destroyer. And now Mystico. Up the Bipasso. And Mystico comes around. See, here's La Mystica. He's got it locked in. Great battle, a great win for Mystico tonight to kick off Rampage. But fans, let's take you back to this past Wednesday night when Stokely Hathaway, the boy.